All right, guys, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. The last time we met in Assassin's Creed 2, we got our hidden blade, as you can see here. Um, but now, we're actually about to kill Uberto Alberti uh, because he's a dick. Um, he let our father die, so we got to kill him. I forgot, when do they teach us about removing posters and shit? Is that later? That's later. Assuming that's later. Alright, here we go. Again with this, you have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever in Oh yeah, I forgot. We were trying to deliver a letter to him. At least now, we see how far your reach extends. Which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes, your allies depart. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. So we need to get to Urberto without being detected. Oh, there's a rune over there, too. That's it. Need a blend. So, I need to find... I think I need to find a group of, of the courtesans to... Um, the courtesans to... Blend with. So I can sneak past those guards. Luckily, there should be one near here. You're enjoying yourself. Indeed, a nice view. I wasn't even touching you for half of that. Oh. You would have done the same <laughs> to save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The auditorium are not dead. I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Abitore! Ezio, you're an idiot. Yeah, cause guess what you have to do now! God, that's like the one time I hate Ezio for a second. Cause he's like... Alright, so now we gotta become anonymous again. Which I'm just gonna run slightly to the left. Hey, suckers. Losers. Can't even keep up. So, yeah. That was it. That was all we had to do to Alberto, or whatever his fucking name is. Alberto, whatever. Urbosa. <laughs> Urbosa from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? What are you 
doing here? Fuck that guy. He's dead. Did you really shout your name like a dipshit? I think it best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Montere Giorgio. Of course, there's someone named Mario in this game. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city for a better face. No doubt the heralds also incite the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignities for coin. Their loss would not be more. Wouldn't killing them cost more? Of these things, and you should be free to leave. So now we're learning about getting rid of our notoriety. So we do this by... Killing this guy, which gets you down to 75%. Oh, Rebecca, will you shut up? I'm trying to be incognito. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. There you go. That was the quickest I've ever done that. So we can go now. So now we are no we are now incognito. He is very dead though. So, removing wanted posters, bribing heralds, or killing witnesses. Yeah, that's it. Yes. None of these dipshits know what I look like. They somehow forgot my face because I killed a guy and tore down a poster. They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. And Federico. And Petruccio. Uh, uh, I don't know how to tell you this. Uh, take a seat. No, it's impossible. Claudia. No. We're at fourteen. We're at the fourteen hundreds, bitch. It's more than possible here. I mean, come on. It's a fucking achievement to get over thirty-five here. Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Quit crying. Good. I'll give you something to cry about. Then we are ready. Thank you again for everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. All right. So we got to escort Maria and Claudia out of here. Yeah, so now we're heading out of Florence because we don't want to be here anymore. God, I hate these jackasses. So many guards here. <laughs> Went the wrong way. My way was better. Masses. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. Will we ever? 
ever be back? I don't know. Do you know if they'll ever bring the Baja Blast to Taco Bell ever again? I don't know. Yes, of fucking course they will. The fuck? Do you think they'll bring the McRib back? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Claudia is asking all the philosophical questions now. I don't know. They were. <laughs> he just says, I don't know to everything. Do you think they'll bring the McRib, McRib back? Do you think Assassin's Creed will ever get better after this game? I don't know. Oh, that was that was sequence two, by the way. And I'm only two hours. I'm only like an hour and fifty minutes in. Not bad. I should be a speedrunner. Just kidding. Fuck no. I don't do that shit. Should be close. Grazie, Dio. Wait, she said Dio. For me. All right, so we're now at Monster Johnny. Oh God, damn it! How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Is that your Lowenthal? What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new seats, a prettier bride, a PlayStation 5. Your life. But no one's getting that last one. No one's getting that. Oh, fuck! Just beat women now? The fuck? I grow tired of this game. You and me too, bro, Finish sister. And do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! Is that Yuri Lowenthal? I feel like it's Yuri Lowenthal. I'm gonna look it up after this cutscene. After this... Chapter. Body is getting her ass kicked. I gotta find her. Where is she? Hey! Fuck you. By the way, this isn't the game that introduces kill streaks. Uh, though to some extent they are kind of here. Uh, Brotherhood really does a good job of introducing him. You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario. Of course they do that. Mario, it's been too long, you both say. Oh, actually, there's actually a lot of Mario references in this game, in this series, uh, with Ezio. Like, I think in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, uh, they have a reference to your princess is in another castle. It's like, I don't remember it, but it's like the trophy name is like, um, your Principia is in another Castello or something like that. And it's just like, what the fuck? Alright. So, tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. You know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. You will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. <laughs> For now. Next year will be its friend. The year after its enemy again. And on and on. I cannot keep track. So I have stopped trying. These are honest. Hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made. 
and the tangible. There is the chapel here, too. The Pretes is a nice enough fellow, but I've never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditorum is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather. A strange man who carry all kinds of things. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. Ooh, there's an icon here. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. What's that? Guess that's life, huh? Here we are, Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nippo, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you are finished, and we will begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to drink. No, Uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait, he did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni. Where to even begin? Oh, Jesus Christ, look at the background. Look at those shadows and shit. Give me time to think. Jesus, fuck. But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself to be depressed, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. Alright. Hold up. There was a weird statue here, and I want to look at it. I wonder what that is. Ooh, a Mars statue. Oh, right, these. I can't remember where they are. Oh. There's that rune. A bit closer to it, though. Fucking barcode, are you fucking serious? The past. A vast web of connections and interconnections all ruled by chance. Or is it? Oh, God, please. I'm gonna start with the bottom first. Yeah, and I'm gonna start with the bottom. I'm gonna start with the top ring first. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That kind of goes against Assassin's Creed 3, then. That, that retcon... Uh, hold on, Assassin's Creed 3 retcons this, then. George Washington never had an apple of Eden in Assassin's Creed 3. And no, I'm not counting the tyranny of King Washington, because that technically wasn't canon, was it? Uh, I don't think they thought... Okay, nice job, guys. That doesn't make any sense, because, yeah, George Washington never had an apple. I mean, yeah, he held it for, like, f I'm assuming five minutes, but not long enough to have a fucking portrait. I'm just saying. Whatever. Let's move on. All right, so those stat that statue I found is actually for these back here. Uh, you have to look for them all over the villa. Um, and basically what happens is you get a bunch, you get a shitload of money for finding them all. I never remember where any of them are, so, uh, honestly, Matara Joni is not really going to be a place I prioritize, uh, because this is kind of what Assassin's Creed 2, uh, it kind of, is another thing Assassin's Creed 2 introducing, it introduces, uh, renovations 
for a small community. Um, you know, so it's this case, we have Monster Joni. Um, basically what we'll be doing is, throughout the entire game, you can renovate certain areas and make them better, uh, such as blacksmiths and stuff like that. Um, to, it'll, and it gives you a bunch of perks, such as, uh, discounts and, um, better equipment, stuff like that. Uh, more money coming into you at a constant rate. Um, so yeah. Uh, I will do it every now and then, you know, just... Just cause there's one. There's another one over there. I see one. That's yeah, fine. It's Juniper. That fucking bitch. No, oh, no, it's Juno that I don't that no one likes. Minerva. Oh, that bitch too. <laughs> oh, they're all bitches, huh? You know, I want to. You know, I want to see what I can find around here. See if I can. Maybe see if I can find all the statuettes because I think there's six, right? Oh, but don't worry, this won't be the last time. Uh, this won't be the only time we'll be exploring Monster Joni in the Assassin's Creed series, because uh, in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. It's also the main hub area for Desmond after escaping from wherever the hell they are now. Oh yeah, spoiler alert. I think I've 100 percent of this game once. And that, and I didn't really enjoy it. I, I, and it was mainly because of the whole renovation bullshit. That was really the only part I didn't like. Because it was really a lot of grinding and stuff like that. You had to spend a lot of money to make money. Other than that, though, it was fine. You know, the feathers, I missed one, so I had to search the entire goddamn world for it. I think there's one on the top of this house. Guess not. Anyway, I guess we should probably just move on to the objective and get our weapons. So we need to buy a pair of greaves and a dagger. So yeah, so basically you're probably wondering what the health is and is there a way to expand it? Yes, buying armor. So throughout the game you'll be able to buy better armor and um, when you do, you'll have better health. So yeah. Yeah, I already have everything I need. Yes. I'll find something by then, I'm sure. All right. How are we at? Uh, I guess I could end the session. You know what? Yeah, let's keep going for a little bit longer. I think, I think I'm at I think I'm at ten part. I think I'm at five parts. But don't worry, we're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Deal with it.
Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Fan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimus. All right, practice makes perfect. So now we gotta learn how to fight. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. If you must survive long enough to practice, I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around, I suppose. Your father was an assassin. I told you before. My father was a paper pusher. No. He was born and bred in that field. Then, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. You're doing this. <laughs> All this talk of assassins and Templars. It reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I see you have the codex page in holding as well. Odio questi momenti di incertezza. Mi attacchi tu o attacco io? Stavolta tua madre non può aiutarti. Vogliamo aprire le tante. We already know all this. Father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templar? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they were nearly pushed underground where they continue their nefarious. <laughs> Are you muck? What the fuck, man? All you're doing is magic scream, fucker! Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle. For all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nepote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemy. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Really what the fuck? <laughs> ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Go to Mario. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stable. All right. Hmm, what this is. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it for today. So, um, the next time we meet in Assassin's Creed, in Assassin's Creed 2, we will be going after Vieri and trying to kill him, apparently. Uh, in order to talk to Uncle Mario. So see you guys next time for more Assassin's Creed 2, and take care.